Hello everyone, I'm Dustin Winger from Slack and the Cover, bringing you Nino Kune 2 Revenant Kingdom! We're back! And let's talk in the Neal Hardware and Temple, hey! Eh? I have an iron. I have an idea what you might be after. I reckon you do a lot worse than at the Armbrough 310. They grow over in the hardwoods there. You, you, you mean hardwoods grow in a hard... Okay, cool. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm... Naming conventions. Keep it simple, right? Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go and get some. Aye, Aye that could be. That, that could be, laddie. That she could. But you don't have to be wanting to stroll in there and prepare to believe me. Listen. We blocked up with her for a while back. There's a problem, see. A dirty, gritty beastie with a few small shots, you'd be swear he didn't even have one. Uh huh. There's no other way of getting to these iron bow trees than going through this thing. That's about the size of it, alright? Oh, you're needing this bottle of thorn away spray. That's a wee magical concoction I like to call thorn away. Anything spiky you need to be getting rid of, this is your stuff. We piled the path with puff furs. You'd be wanting to spray a puff or two to clear the way to things out. A chemical that specifically targets spiky objects, that seems unlikely. Thank you. Thank you very much, Neil. Come on, Roland. We'll set off for our adventure. Because once again, this is a quest within a quest within a quest. Exactly. How far off is this? Is this? Oh, it's in the forest. It is in the forest of Neal. Okay. That explains the question marks we saw last time. Mm, this way. Through all the mobs that are way too easy to smash now. Uh, so I'm going to look this up. Um, going up. Did we even try to go up this last? Maybe, maybe not. No, I don't remember ever, uh... Encountering these things. Oh my! These must be the puff birds the owl was talking about. They look pretty spiky to me. Is it just a puff or two, didn't he? Oh, here we go. You spray the bottle to throw away all of it. Like, the whole bottle? Because he only said a puff or two. Collie! It disappeared just like that. Wow. That really did. That's a pretty niche product. But if it works, it works, right? So assuming, yeah, we're going to start finding things a little bit in our level range, if not out of our level range. Yeah, here they go. Another one of those big mushrooms. Oh. Watch your backs. Yeah, big mushroom hoe. Ow. Ow. Eat this. Hey everybody, we good. All right, we good. Or let's go for the loose odds and ends here. Quick and growth make us. Giant mushrooms. Oh, I'm still stuck on. He's so pretty and green and dangerous because everything is dangerous. Everything wants to kill you in this game. Especially the wildlife. I don't know why the wildlife is so flippin' vicious. Those are obsidia, so I, I guess these are just specifically these are the dark creatures. Hmm. So we can go beyond this, but we have to encounter them. As well fight this lady first. Okay, okay, okay. I need a little. Oh, 
Holy moly. Lost our chance to use our friends. That was the game lagging for a second. That's weird. item what is the purple item above that purple item's got to be above a red item which means it's a it's a what, second or third tier oh I gotta check one thing real quick just to make sure I think it was lagging just because I'm uploading something yeah I'm just uploading something it's just my computer was like what for a second that is a fiery crimson axe yo 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 I know just the son of a gun who would use this thing Hot diggity damn. Imbues weapon with fire, slight damage boost versus solid monsters. Yo. Yo. That thing's sick looking. So shiny. Alright. I'll, I'll let you control your thing, man. You do you. But you uh, smack him where it hurts. Mushrooms. I get this for, for my pizzas in the future. Take one mushroom, you smell more mushrooms. Done. Okay. This one you know is trying to get serious. Give me a place to heal and a place to warp back to. Which means this may or may not be one of those situations where you can succeed and they're like, yeah, yeah, just uh, leave, level up, and come back. We got it though. Must be the arm bow trees, hey? Yeah, because they look like metal. They all look very metally. And this looks very boss arena ish. Crikey, these are the biggest trees I've ever seen in my life. Aye. Aye, and mighty sturdy too, by the looks of them. Tidy! Let's make a boat that can take a proper batter and mud and tidy. Didn't come across the monster Niao mentioned. After all, lucky us. Don't. Oh, why did you say that? I wouldn't celebrate too soon. It could be out there anywhere. Could be right there, actually. That looks like the giant monkey that we fought. For our trial. The doughty defender of the toughest of timbers. I'll do my best! Thank you, game. I need it. I totally missed. You know, this looks like the kind of mob that I want to go ranged on. Don't let me down! Quit. Okay, well, gotta do Dark Souls and just couple of hits in, watch where I'm going. Whoa. Oh. Is he plotting over there? Oh. What? It's gonna be devastating in a second. Ow. Okay. Oh, baby. Looks like I need to block that. Holy moly. The block was the correct option. That's a waste. Holy moly. You're back to dancing around. Okay. You've got... No, oh, I just took a hit and that hurt. Badly. Okay. Quick heal on my butt here. 
Oh, he's back to being weird. Make yourselves useful. If you guys can shoot him, 20 points of Grimminger. I got a red um, thing on the ground when he decides to, to yoink us. Nope, nope. But I wasn't dead shot that time either. Don't stash them when he charges up. No Donkey Kong punches for us. Got him. Man, he dropped a red. That's the blighter bag. Yes. Now we can finally get our hands on that wood. You know, you have this innocent look on your face, so I can't make fun of it, but. It's a screenshot I ever saw one. All right, let's go. Put it over to Captain until Catch and the others were ready for them to get started. Can I pick up my? Oh, you you gave me all the loot. Thank you, thank you. That is a new gun for my buddy here. In fact, that is a serious gun for my buddy here. Holy butts! If you use weapon with wind, charge attacks build more quickly, and it does so much damage. Holy. <laughs> Fuck sauce. So what does it look like? I'm not a comment, I can't tell. Okay. Fair enough. Go until catch. You managed to get the hold of the iron boat. There's a quest over there. Is that Oh, it's actually in Greenland Go Grove. Um Let's go to the Greenland Grove and see what the quest is and just pick it up. I don't think this game has a quest limit. So, you know, no reason not to pick a quest. Is it in here? No, but I didn't. Wolfram Spear. Oh, we know who that would go on. Gunk Shrooms. Yay, Calder Nails. Okay, where it is down here. Spread this way. Bad me, bad me, passing through, passing through. Hey. What's up, dude? Hi. Ah, oh, hello there, Evan. I was thinking about you and your kingdom. How's Muriel the Alpaca heard her doing over there? Hope she's alright. Mm -hmm. Uh, Muriel? Hi. Good old Muriel, I bet she's been causing all manner of mischief with a bow of hers, eh? We're sorry, I don't, I don't think we met anyone named called Muriel. You don't know Muriel? Well, I never, I thought she would. She's like a malkin just like you, you see. She had to flee Ding Dong Dill when all that unpleasantness happened. I'm sure she'd made it over to Neverbone by now. I know that she's, that's where she was heading. Cravens, hope she didn't get lost in the way. What? You're terrible. You're looking to look for her right now. So just kind of you now. I can tell you where she was. She might have gone, but I don't know where. She'll have her all packed with her. Young and easily distracted. Thank you. Right. Uh, no, I don't make that my active quest, but we do have someone essentially in the woods to find. I don't see anybody in the woods to find from over here, so maybe it's not quite that easy. We'll, we'll figure it out. Alright, let's head back to Gavitch. I cast it upon hill and say, hey, this wood's for yours, use. Oh god, I'm trying to talk, I'm trying to talk, I'm trying to talk like them there, mm hmm Whoa! What's that you say, you bagged a load of quality timber from the foster in the owl? Cool, you're one, you are, lad. That's only, that's only a right good wood comes from over that way, I can't wait to have a go on it. Don't worry about fetching in that. 
are part of the service. Hey! Right, you bunch of old bone idle baggers. Let's gonna move on, shall we? We have a log or two to be shifting. He's got an anchor on his chest. And just like that, Evan had found himself the finest boat builders in all the land, and some timber worthy of their expert attention. Eager to get to work after their recent ordeal, the men of Capstan set about putting together a ship fit for a king. And before long, a magnificent vessel that no wave could hope to topple was all but ready to set sail. I feel like everyone should be getting older a little bit when we do these things, because, like, you know how long an actual ship takes to be built oh by hand? I mean, it's not like, oh, well, we we have the weekend free. Can you get it done by then? No. It's a long time, man. I know we got magic on our side, but jeez. This is really ours? Where were you? I thought you were watching. Blimey! That's amazing. I love it. It is, it is a pretty cool looking ship. This may be the set for Hydropolis soon. All right. Your yeah, Majesty, uh, me and Talaz were wondering, you'd not bothered if we decided we wanted to go and live with you in Evermore, would you? Really? I right, building this beauty put the love of the craft right back in us. We have a few more like this in us if you give us the means to make them. Besides, you don't know the first thing about boats. Don't want to let us do another run, a rack and ruin that loot. I'm, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna say yes. <laughs> I can't understand half the stuff you're saying, White. Because uh, I don't think Roddy will be welcome us back now. We've jumped up, up and jumped ship. Catch is now a citizen evermore. She'll all set to set sail. Well, nearly. We've uh, to take her out for a test run and make a few final, final tweaks yet. Flippin' heck! So you can't go off on our voyage right away, then? It's our last. You need a bit. A final bit and Bob doing, but we should be ready for the off. So there's some time on our hands. Let's put our affairs in order while we have the chance, eh? Yeah, let's head back to Evermore and plan our next move. All right! All righty. All righty, yo. So, son of a gun, we only got one person. We have 24 out of 25. We can't upgrade the kingdom um. yet. What kind of place is Hydropolis? Do they have nice food? It's a nation built on the ocean where merfolk and humans live side by side, and it's ruled over by the queen named Nerea. As for food, I believe the fish is very good this time of year. Blimey! You know everything, don't you? <laughs> well, just how to read, that's all. Can't we just argue the point that he knows how to read English, and we've already seen that the language written in this area is not English, so you learned a language really fast, sir. Um, I'm really looking forward to adding another nation to our union. I should be interested to see how the kingdoms are ruled, too. I still have so much to learn. That's what I like to hear. Hey, oh! Put some pants on, your majesty. She's all fitted out and ready to set sail. We've launched over by the coast nearby. All you gotta do is climb aboard and get going. Yes! That's wonderful news, Catch. Thank you so much. Alright, everyone, it's time to take a voyage to Hydropolis. Twelve years later. Oh, man, you guys didn't give me a choice. Well, your research topics have been completed. Well, guess what? We're not. That is our tiny little kingdom right there, isn't it? Head to Hydropolis. I doubt we have the people, but real quick, since our kingdom's right here and it's so small. It's so small looking. I'm gonna grab, uh. Empty our coffers, that kind of thing. Nobody around here that wants to. that has it. Oh, we do have a couple quests over here. Excellent time, I was just about to come looking for you, Your Majesty, and I've been asked to pass on a message. Mm -hmm. Of who? Yeah. The leaders of the Army of Goldpaw would like to stage a mock battle against our forces. It seems they're keen for our two games to share a battle full of know-how. Sounds like an excellent idea. When were they planning to stage in this battle? In the hills to the east of Goldpaw. In fact, I believe they are already there waiting for you. Oh! 
Oh, we better head over there right away. Hmm. No need to be too hasty, Your Majesty. The battle will not be an easy one. Football's forces are not to be underestimated. Their hammer attacks in particular can be brutal. Be prepared. Hmm. Right, Minty. Thanks for the tip. The best advice in the world for that. <laughs> Excuse me. Did not ensure victory. Hmm. A songbook out of this. No, don't make that day for us, but we do. We'll keep it in mind for the future. Ah. Jingus! You have a moment to spare? Have you seen a letter? A letter tied to an arrow, no less. Mm -hmm. Arrow? Didn't hit you, did it, Jingus? Art, right, was a close call, but I managed to pluck it out of the air at the last second. We scout pairs have sharp eyes, lad. A good job, too. <gasps> Who would send me a letter like that? Dear Mr. Impostor, there's only one king of the Heartlands mate, and that's me, so I've take token me land back, and I'll take your castle and all if you don't mind. Ha ha, catch you around me. Mm. Tyron? He's the bandit we fought when he first came to Heartlands, isn't he? Uh. And he thinks he's a, he's a claim to some of your precious territory. Well, he may think that, but we can't let him take our land. Yeah. Mm. So we've got... Okay, so we've got another, um... Got a couple side quests to do on the up and up. But, uh, you know, let's power up a couple of our, uh, nurture higgledies. Actually, can we make anything awesome? If we have the money, honey, we can do anything. Four followers. Hmm. What their followers have to do with their level? Uh, let's upgrade a couple of these guys if we can. Single cream, thick yogurt. Six of these, right? Yeah, let's do five. Yo, he loves the dairy products, man. Five. Nice. Blink the blinky. I don't want to use all of my water and stuff because obviously we do have quests that need that here and there. Sweet Mother Teresa. Dead's love experience. I mean, you guys are helping out, so... The blinky leveled up. Oh, that's a lot of experience for Oasis Wonder Water. Oof. Uh, Phil Greed, the flighty, he's not in our group. Runs for the righteous, he does give us random heals. Docs are essentially leveling up our Higglies, which is great. Ah, you like fruit. So the experience gains for these is getting lesser and lesser. Four. I'm good with getting you to four. We have a fire guy. Those are the four. Oh. Oh man, we gotta upgrade this mushy dude. Totally forgot about you, man. I'm sorry. You're one of our newcomers. I don't think I have. I mean, Cobbler's Nails is a. Oh, it's a mushroom. I, I didn't realize it was a mushroom. Okay. If I can get you to four, I'd be happy, honestly. Yeah, I think we're. I don't think we're gonna get you to five. No, those are worth a fortune. We could give you some non stuff, but some of the meats I want to hang on to. Eggs can be used for some things here and there. I mean, wow, shag holy shaggy fur. 30 fur. 
I don't know what you're doing with all this fur, man. Do you like... No, we only need 196. Let's do, uh... That much. Wait. What? Okay, we'll give you a little bit more. There we go. Pop you right into level 5. Everyone can get their followers up by one. We are good to go. Let's just stop by and get our coffers emptied out. We have a quest Excuse for me. Hybrid bow of fiber grader. I still don't have that for you. I'm sorry. Soon though. I'm sure I'll find one soon. When we empty, empty our coffers, uh, empty our stores. Gets another research started if we could. Coffers maxed out. And our stores are maxed out too. Oh, and we have uh, multiple researches done actually. Nice. Do we have more personnel? We have catch. Oh, uh, aptitude for being captured. I don't think we can actually build a new facility yet. I think we need to upgrade the kingdom to one. Um, to the to, to two before maybe we can have shipyard as a thing. Oh, man, influence just took a chunk up there. No new research? No new research. Dude, you guys are doing great. Uh, new research on the tactics front, though. Advanced shock attacks had been completed. More might, more efficient four majors, and a bigger might gauge. Do that. Improve foraging. Research reduce, smash and grab, and make your food go further. 3,500. Um, this is gonna take probably not that long, 27 minutes. Eh, might be enough for visiting Hydropolis, who knows. Do you guys have all the weapons? I think you guys have all the weapons. In fact, I just looked at this today. Multiple sneezes, sorry. Fresh fish. I know someone from Hydropolis is gonna end up going in there. Oh, that can be said about it. Okay, what am I actually shy of being able to expand coffers and level up? So I am shy. I have 24 citizens. 24. Um, and I would need someone. Maybe he's really good at working with the lumber. Personnel. He's far from it. He's good with hammering. What group does hammering? I mean, it seemed like a weapons thing, honestly. No, that, that's cross swords. That's a hammer. I, mean, I could throw him over here. He would be suitable, but he would not be happy. Uh, after you born and being the heavy boost work at the shipyard. So we will be getting a shipyard. We just don't have a shipyard yet. Let me make sure I can't build a shipyard. I don't think I have the room or the means to. Yeah, I mean, if, if our borders need to expand out a little bit, then our borders need to expand out to the coast. Uh, our zoom. How does how, how does one zoom out? I don't want to zoom in. I want to zoom out. I I cannot zoom out. This this is lame. It's a lame game. I can't zoom out. 
Okay. Whatever. Oh. Uh, dude, we are hey. pulling money in so fast now! It's awesome! Okay, let's just head out of here. No, no, no. I, I saw facilities pop up. There's Barak City. Money Camp. So the people we got. Okay, so we, we just don't have room for it yet. We'll we'll make room later. I got the money. We'll just throw uh, another one in somewhere. More might is being researched. Accessory development. Hold up. Oh, the outfitters can do accessories. Dude, I didn't realize that. I'll go ahead and just get like level two started. That'd be great. Thank you. Hey, keep giving me the money. Just give me all the money. All the money. All right, return to town. We can warp over to our ship, compadres. Oh, actually, we can't warp over there. We gotta leave. Go back to our ship, compadres. By the way, I like the idea of that as being our kingdom, but we really do gotta. Upgrade a few things. It's just a wooden fence around a couple shops that we have. All together now! Out of board and tied in. Time set for the seas. Swab the main shell and we're off. We access your ship via the field map and once aboard, you'll be able to sell the seas where if you please. Even the odd river or two as well. So, park simply approach the coast and press A. However, please be aware that you won't be able to do so near cliffs and other certain obstacles. If you ever use the travel spell to jump to a trip door, don't worry, your boat will be brought to the nearest bit of coast for your convenience. Nice. Dude, this thing cruises. Also, can't aim. Can't aim. Can't aim. A Philly fish. Worth it. I'm, I'm kind of scared of hitting you giant slimes yet. Let's be honest. But you guys are all over the place, man. Oh, dude, 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 you guys are fast. Skeleton puddler. Do you have different names? Goo. What? So, are you guys just different? I think you guys are just different water creatures that have fallen in the water. Oh, there, 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 hold on, there, 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 there. Hydropolis. Dude. That is a whirlpool of death. I love it. Hydropolis, what's up, guys? We're your neighbors from the south. Well, you know, south ish. Our ship is almost too big for your entrance. That is falling apart. Is that a giant eyeball? Holy moly, that's spooky. I think it sees us. Hiya! Hello, Hydropolis. Mm. They're gonna be real racist to everyone from the land. Bet. It's ever so pretty. The weather's lovely and warm. Ooh. Lovely, my eye. Ever been so seasick in all my days? Ew. Hmm. One familiar vessel. Form Archon Leander right away. Yes. Yes, sir. With all haste. All right. I think the best way to approach Queen Naria. Hmm. Pretty gifted too for back home, and a few sweet words would do the job nice, I'll wager. Hmm. Really, I can't help thinking it won't be quite that simple. Let's not curse about getting all miserable, shall we? I'm sure we'll have a nice. She'll be a very nice woman who'll be happy to have a chat with us. She'd be all like off with your heads, and and she. Oh, I will never understand why the people love you so, Leander, a weak, insipid man. But love you they do. Without you, I would be nothing. That is what they whisper, is it not? Without you, our nation would be nothing, Your Majesty. I, above all others, know this. 
But the people cannot know this. Foreign powers cannot know this. If they did... If they did? Then... what? Exactly. Then your life would be in danger. Malign forces would plot your downfall. This is the way of power. So I put myself forward. If the people see me, deal with me, they can only become discontented with me, can only wish to harm me. So all that you do, you do for your queen? Not without reason. But if it might prolong your life for a single second, that would be reason enough. So you're like uh, in, in love with the bitch. Such a death queen. would bring honor upon me. Upon my entire line. Ah, uh, you're all for, for Queen God and duty, eh? Insipid you may be. But you are occasionally amusing. You are too kind, Your Majesty. Hmm. Now oh, you wish to see me? Yes. Yes, Your Majesty. A ship has arrived from a foreign land. It's a vessel unknown to us, but most likely it brings travelers and perhaps traitors. Hmm. That's so. But whoever they are, they must obey the word of the law. There will be no exceptions that I understood. Not a single infraction can be tolerated. Not one, do I make myself perfectly clear? By all means. Perfectly, Your Majesty. <laughs> let's see now. Let's stroll around and see what we can see, shall we? Mm-hmm. Yes, let's. Hey there. Let us know when you're ready for the off, Your Majesty. Take your time, enjoy the sights. It is a fine old town, and no mistake. <clears throat> Be ready to sit so whenever you need us. You have fun now, haha. Ignore us, we have pirates. But they're nice pirates. I, I, I think, I, I don't really know. I barely know these pirates. Oh, that's a fish. Hey. I just want to touch your, 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 your trip door. All foreign visitors to Hydrobos must undergo questioning before being permitted entry. Firstly, state your purpose here. You become simply to visit or to trade, perhaps? We've traveled here from Evermore, a new country of the Heartlands. We'd like to request an audience to King Nuria. <laughs> I have not heard of no such nation, and the Queen offers audiences no one. It would seem that your journey has been wasted. Oh, flippin' heck. It tells me news of our illust illustrious kingdom hasn't spread too far just yet. <laughs> well, it should have soon. They'll be singing our praises of your rooftops next time we're in town. You'll see. Excuse me. Next, you must swear to abide by the four pillars of the law. Oh. Four pillars, what are they? Pillar one, it is strictly forbidden to harm one's fellow man. Pillar two, it is strictly forbidden to ascend to any of the high places of Hydropolis. Pillar three, sickness is strictly forbidden. Before the last most important, love is absolutely and completely forbidden under any circumstance. Oh. What? Wait, wait, what'd you say? That's crazy. <laughs> To the people of Hydropolis, it is nothing of the sort. There's no no greater crime than to love. As long as you are a guest here, you will remember this on pain of the most severe punishment. That would be all. Puh. Hey, so much for strolling up with a gift or two for old Queenie. Whether she's as warm with her welcomes as our friend. We still don't know a whole lot about her. If we're going to be do this right, we'll need to learn more. And there's only one thing looking for it. Hmm. Yes, come on, let's explore the town. I'm sure someone will be able to help us. Triptor! I love you, Triptor. Daddy, they're gonna put me in jail! What's up, dude? So. The bridge is. It's not a high place. It's a shame. It's such a wonderful sea views to offer. I'm sure it would prove a popular spot with tourists were it to open to them. Screw you. I'm, I'm not. I'm just going this way. Oh. I wasn't going to go up the stairs. I just wanted to see him. I think, right? Hmm. He looks so appetizing. I fear I shan't be able to decide what to cook this evening. I can't talk to everybody. They're hiding. Yo, fishmonger. What's up, man? Yeah. <clears throat> Dining out is a great treat, but only if done in moderation. Overdone, it's nothing but a waste of guilders. What is this? Everyone's like, okay. So be it. Okay, we got a potion shop. 
Yeah, let's go. Hey there. I doubt you got the same thing. Well, well, you're truly a vision of youthful innocence. And what items might I interest you in today, young man? Coral diatom. let do a couple of these. <clears throat> and a couple of these for mercies. Got some angel tears already. She'll be gone, sour salts. I don't know what those are used for. Bye bye, couple. I don't think I, I don't think I got a chill be gone, so we'll just pick one of those up too. Mm. Is there something else you inquire? See you. I'll be returning to Coral Dia Dia Didum soon. Yes. People of Hydropolis are extremely hygienic. It stands to reason, given that sickness is illegal. Many visitors from other kingdoms find our rules excessively harsh, but what they fail to understand is that each of it is a result of careful deliberation on the part of Queen Nuria. Yeah, sickness forbidden is, um, I mean, when he gets seasick, then what? Welcome. Welcome. What would you be having today? I think it's delicious, I can assure you. Let's see, increases wind damage, mermaids delight, the ocean's bounty, hydropolitan stew, centaur's blood. I'm not getting 15, that's cool. Aquarium jelly. What I'll will come it be back. Today? Please come again. Taverna Akalios is proud to serve the most delicious dishes in all Hydropolis. Well, your city doesn't look that big. So, what's up, old man? Hello. This interface leads to a small path that is often used by people staying at the inn. Awkward. Oh, we went to a high place. Kill us. You have to kill us now. Good day. Well, I'm try and test at armors. Please take a look at our wares. 92 a dablage. Playing grade 4, though. Oh, and a crimson axe. I already got one of those. Mm. As good as I got. Ogre's bow. It's not a 5. Buy that. Nice. Yeah, Wizard's Posey. Upgrade. Shoulder Spear, I don't really use you. Roaring Sword is 92. It is an upgrade over the Bright Shame, sure. Honestly. Yeah, let's go ahead and just equip it on him, too. In fact, I'd say it's worthwhile just to upgrade all of his stuff. So he's, then he's on even kill with everyone else. I we'll have a it. wide range of items. Oh, please come again. I'm good. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Oh, baby, here's our little buddy over here. Hey, dude, what's up? Welcome to Swift Solutions. Take on task. You got, oh my gosh, the amount of things you got. And that's my phone going off because what's recording without a, I'll be right back.
Sorry about that. I swear, if, if I ever have to go quiet during the recording, it's because the missus is calling me. Uh, well, we managed to get a couple quests done, pick up a few quests. Uh, there's no new citizens. No new citizens. <laughs> skittisons. No oh, new citizens. by the way. Hang on, remember, as long as there are people, there's always be. Oh. That's not. That's not a by the way kind of thing, dude. It's not. I think it's because we haven't actually. Essentially unlocked this city to a degree. Like, until we encounter and figure out the problem involved, then I think we can actually, uh, get citizens from this place. For now, it's like we're strangers in an unknown land and nobody really trusts us. Oh, hello there. You visitors here from a distant land, are you not? You must have been surprised when you heard all of our very particular laws. I can assure you that we local folk are equally baffled. There would be, appear to be no rhyme or reason behind most of them. We're merely victims of Queen Nuria's hmm. whims. The law forbidding love is surely the most ridiculous at all. of all. We hydro hydropolitans have a long tradition of proposing to our intended ones with an engagement ring made from a comely coral. What will become of this tradition now? No one knows what moment the queen, and we live in constant fear of what outlandish edict she may be passing next. And as far as Archon Leander, well, the way she treats him is nothing short of a disgrace. Hmm. So this seems like a more recent turn of events. And I take back what I said about our um, city being larger than theirs. This city's pretty big. I mean, ours will be the size maybe later on. But for now, not so much. In fact, you know, let me just quadruple check. I don't want to be that guy that runs, hey, you know, may AFK for a little bit and then, uh, yeah, it's 15 minutes. Okay, well, I'll, it'll be another one of those longer episodes because... I had to take a momentary burp. BRB break. Oh, okay, that's that's another restaurant, dude. How many restaurants are here? Holy butts! I just realized that's a that's a fish. That is a huge fish. That is a big bones. Yo, you guys don't screw around out here. Holy mo! Can I can I climb on the fish? Well, guys, won't we, let me climb on the fish. I, I, it's a whale. I, I hope it. Oh God, I hope it's a whale. That's, dude. That's kind of gross. That's its tongue hanging out, at the side of its mouth. Oh, baby. Let's do it. That's a shark. Oh man. Surprising. Yeah. You would do well not to underestimate the city guard. They have eyes everywhere. Nothing escapes them. Nothing. Some of my acquaintances have been thrown into prison after being caught breaking the law when they were certain that no one was watching. I don't understand how they do it, but the guards seem to be able to sniff out wrongdoing wherever and whenever it takes place, as though they have a sixth sense. Some claim that Arkin Leander has wondrously acute hearing and that this is how he knows everything that happens in the kingdom the moment it happens. But surely they cannot be true. The fact that we're wandering around asking questions may be pricking some ears at the moment. In possible unfortunate ways. Hello, beautiful. Wow. The hair is as golden and glowing as the sun itself. I'm truly envious. You have a name. Which means one of you may be an important character. I don't know. We had the discussion with the mysterious boy, the curious boy, that was like, hey, you know, you need to love someone eventually. Or, you know, is there anyone you like kind of thing? Um, you're a weird looking kid. And now we're in a city that actually says no to love, so you know he's going to meet a love interest here. It's just, you gotta, it's gotta be. Foreshadowing, man. You ask me what I know of Queen Naria? Um, mm, as you mentioned, I realize that I know very little. Her Majesty seldom appears before her people. Look, you see the building with all the guards? That is the entrance to her palace. It lies on the ocean floor, you see. And at its top stands the eye. It is supposed to s symbolize the benevolence which with Her Majesty watches over us. But the rumors tell of it actually being a device that she uses to spy on her own people. Whether or not this is true, we certainly never see her. 
Interactions with the citizenry are conducted via the Archon Leander, the most trusted aide and advisor. Some even say that in truth, it is he who rules, uh, rules over uh... our realm. But if that's so, then what exactly is it that she does? Interesting. So we have a queen that may or may not actually be in power, an aide that is the foreman, and a citizenship mm. that is unsure. Oh, not sure we learned an awful lot about Queen Aria. It'll be much use no. no, but we sure heard a lot about the Leander character. Yeah, I think the swap might be our way in, Roland Lad. Really? Interesting. Yeah, if we can get to him, he might be able to use him to get one step closer to the Queen. But how would we get him? <laughs> Why don't me, 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 ask me? Why? Tell me, tell me. Actually, I'll fill you all in a little details in a bit. Let's get some of them uh, thingamabobs first, shall we? Huh? Thingamabobs? Yeah, let's try the 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 cells accessories in that. Reckon they might have one there. Gosh. Don't understand, but all right. Uh, go to the equipment shop in Hydropolis. We've already been here, man. Apparently, our little kingmaker wants something. So hey. Yeah. You don't have to sell bright red coral rings, do you? Whoa. Whoa, whoa, what, you, whoa, whoa, what would you want with such a thing? Never you mind, Sunshine. Have you got one or what? Oh, yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. The law forbids me to sell such an item. I dread to think how Archon Leander would react if he were to learn such a flagrant breach of the laws. That said, as far as I know, there's no law that prevents me from simply giving you one. All I ask is you help me in return. A fair exchange. I'm sure you'll agree. Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah, we bid you that, man. Alright, spit it out. What kind of help are you after? Okay. I have three orders awaiting delivery, and I simply don't have the time to deliver them myself. I'd be grateful if you could oblige me. Peleus, Proteus, and Triton. Boosh! Got it! Right, spot delivery work in exchange for a nice core ring. Doesn't sound too bad. Let's get moving, Evan. Alright. Well, looks like uh, the king is doing courier quests. Luckily, they're all... What do you mean you don't have time to deliver it to these people? Hello. Hi. I can barely express how anxiously I've awaited this coming. I was utterly convinced that Queen Nuria would grace uh, we, her loving children, with her hollow presence before it arrived, but God be praised, it seems it reached me in time. So she... So does she come out and greet the people often? Hmm. Goodness, no. Why, it must be oh, decades since we last so much saw as a glimpse of her face. It's merely a guess, of course. Though it certainly feels that long. Suffice to say that she does not emerge from the palace often. But how long it has been since we gaze upon her radiant beauty. Now that she needs to emerge when she has Ark and Leander to tend to her every whim, is he who handles the day-to-day -day running of the kingdom. It's difficult to catch a glimpse of her entirely for the opposite reason. Uh, his every waking moment is spent rushing around the city, attending to the affairs uh. of the state. Some say Her Majesty has grown almost too dependent on him. Hmm, maybe this Leander guy is actually... Doloran, or one of the agents of Doloran. Because, I mean, that's exactly what happened to Pugnacius. His aide was the one who essentially got him hooked on the... You know, dependence, man. Hello. A delivery for you. Hmm. I would. I never ever expected as I would start using tourist delivery boys. I have no reason to complain. Thank you, young man. <laughs> Bad. This hatch makes me look more handsome than ever. Ladies of Hydropolis would have been unable to resist me. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I thought you weren't allowed to fall in love. I just, of course, will take more than a new hat to cause one as plain as I to fear falling foul to a band of love. Oh. In truth, this is a rather sad state of affairs, so I must not dwell on it. There's other restrictions in place that trouble me far more. All contentious topics are now prohibited in tavern conversation. Anyone who challenges the opinion of another is immediately apprehended by the guards. Even worse, ever since my friend fell from the rampart on his way home from the inn, we're now forbidden from venturing to high places. I never forget the face of Archon Leander when he arrived at the scene. It was as though the world itself were about to end. My friend is almost entirely unhurt. It was only a matter of hours before Queen Aria promulgated the new law in order to prevent it from happening again. 
Such molly coddling is enough to make one despair. Forgive me. Rather than bemoan my own pro prohibitive circumstances, I must insist, said, encourage you to enjoy your freedom. Goodness knows I envy you for it. Is a pebble. So, not only is she kind of a pain in the rear, it's not the way I need to go. Apparently, she's blocking everything. I, I have a, I have a delivery, so I can't go that way. Fine. Leave me alone, giant eyeball. You are creepy. I can't go that way. This doesn't seem like the way I'm supposed to be going. Ah, okay, I can't go that way, but I can't go this way and around. I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, well, I, I see now why he was like, I don't have time to deliver. You don't have time to deliver this one. Not really the other ones. The other ones were easy. Excuse me. Well, good thing I can jump. Hello. Have something for you from Trident Tested Armors. Thank you very much. I well, thank you, but honestly, what a waste. A waste? What do you mean? I'm a jeweler, and Zypos was once my biggest wholesale customer. Now that love is forget forbidden, the market for jewelry has dwindled dramatically. <sighs> the package you have just handed me contains some items Zypos has been unable to sell. Things are getting rather desperate, I must say. I would turn to the black market, but there's no escape from the unblinking gaze of the eye. Excuse me? Surely you can't see us here. Hmm. You've clearly not been in Hydropolis long. The eye sees all. Walls are no obstacles with scrying magics. We're all under its constant gaze. As soon as it catches a glimpse of any wrongdoing, the guards come running. Many now even hesitate to pick up coins that have fallen on the street. Not because it's illegal, you understand, but simply out of embarrassment of being observed in the act. Forgive me. You need not trouble yourself with my woes. Tidy! It's all delivery's done. Tell you what, man, we didn't have here some juicy tales about the kingdom of the way. Handful of strawberries. Fresh wonder water. It's amazing I have fresh anything. I talked to Zaphos. I didn't realize that I could walk through here. I can't walk through here. You look very... Okay. It's way too relaxed with that fishing pole. Hold up. Wait. I want to get over here. Oh well. Let's just do the uh, smart thing, which is... Trip doors are free! All they cost is a loading zone. What's up, dude? Thanks. Complete the blows. Here's your core ring. And a door ring. Oh, damn it. Beautiful to mate. All I ask is you inform no one of its providence. In the name of the guys, do not allow the guards to see you wearing it. The ring is one of the ones that women was talking about, right? Isn't it? Excuse me. What do you mean to do with it, Lofty? <laughs> something proper genius, that's what. But you have to do something for me before, and I'll let you in on a little secret. You have to promise to call me Mr. Director, sir. Boosh! Got him! Even Tiny. Evan, Tiny, you're coming with me. Uh. Oh. Are you going to marry the two together? That's what you're doing. Uh. <laughs> He's marrying them. Ha, ha, ha. All right. Wedding scene, take one. And action. <laughs> Oh, pretending to get married. What? Is he proposing? <clears throat> Tunny? <laughs> yes, Evan? 
Gotta make the guards come running. Oh, just get talk on to with Leander. It, yes. I can bear it. I care not a jot if. Um... <laughs> Jeez. That's it. Kid. Go on. You're so bad at this. Uh, well. Uh, will you marry me? Was that the right of the ring? A marriage proposal? In broad daylight? Surely not. If Master Leander finds out, they will rot a year. Oh, everybody's looking. <laughs> Focus, Tanny! Time for your close-up! Take the ring, big ring, and... Guards. No? Well... Uh, what was that I love man? It. Project, boy, project! You are not in a cupboard, you are on the stage! Now, pucker up! Oh, no, kill. you don't, lad! That's my daughter, Kershey! Uh, uh, uh. You there, you two! You are under arrest for the crime of public affection! Oh, about time. There's no use denying it. Her Majesty witnessed the entire sorry affair. Come with me. Yeah, yeah. So we purposely just broke the law so that we could go talk to him. That's that's funny. What? Jail. Oh, bang in. She means my little plan went off without a hitch. Tidy. Um, Is that so? Where's this lander swab then, eh? Well. What business do you have with the Archon? What exactly was your intent floating the law flouting the laws of Hydropolis so flagrantly, I wonder? Excuse me? Are, are you Leander? Hmm. I am. Yes, we finally got to meet him. My apologies, we were forced to use a little artifice to gain your attention. Mm hmm. Is that so? And why would you go to such lengths? Who are you? I'm Evan Pettywhisker Tildrum, King of Evermore. I'm trying to ask you to sign a tree. Forgive me. If you speak of a union, I'm afraid I must refuse. <laughs> right, just like that. Well. Well, if we're up to me, yes. Um, but Her Majesty has ordered that you be brought before. <laughs> Queen Ari wants to meet us. Yes. She does, although why she would wish to do so is beyond me. Well. Off with her head. I'm just gonna walk her right up to her because that's totally respectful. No. There's no need to go into tiresome explanations. All has been shown to me. You wish me to sign the treaty of yours, correct? If I may be so bold. Cannot, Your Majesty. To enter into a union would be. I must advise against it. Hmm. Silence, Leander. Uh. Yes, Your Majesty. I have but one condition. Of course, and what that might be. Beneath the sea, not from far from here, there's a labyrinth. <clears throat> Deep within it dwells a great sea monster, Cetus. Defeat the creature and return here unharmed. Do so, and I will sign your treaty. <laughs> but... Really? Yes. Yes, really. The Ender will accompany you. Of course. Of course, Your Majesty. Match this word as law, and I will copy you to the flower that you wish, and we'll see the beast is destroyed. Forgive me. But you must forgive me, I have not properly introduced myself. I am Leander Art Ar Aristus, Archon of Hydropolis. Hmm. It's very nice to meet you, Archon Leander. So where exactly is this labyrinth? It lies in the sea southeast of Hydropolis. Ah, then we best be on our way. Let's sell set sail and give the sea to such rubbin, shall we, me hearties? Leander temporarily joins the party. Something is very off about all of this. Like, I don't really understand anything of this. Hey there. Would you like to use the Hydro Portal to travel to Cardia Square? Yeah, let's do that. I just want to see what a Hydro Portal is. Apparently, it's just like a gate. 
Oh, this is Hydria Square. Okay, that was the one that was like, hey, yeah. It's all pretty and stuff, and she lives at the bottom of the ocean! But yeah, I think that's gonna do for now, folks. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out for more news information. What's going on? What may beach? I got the description below. Like what you saw, wanna see more like it, slap the like button, bash the subscribe button, and share the video. Dust Bunny Avengers signing off for now. This actually is a really The Sun is what is that? Is that Morse code? Click click the button. Click the button to subscribe? I don't know what it means by that. Alright, we'll see you folks later. Take care! Bye.